Okay, this is a classic C14 CompuStar from 1985 system. And I have so far gotten everything here working and right now for me to begin I have to go through and set the Greenwich Mini time so that would be plus six hours from where I am at for the current time so right now the time is approximately three o'clock so that'd be 9 p.m. tonight so that would be 21 21 30 and it wants it down to the seconds and 32 zero and now I hit enter for the next item and now it wants the ears these had a Y2K problem so this has the Y2K chip update in it so it's good to go up until 2100 so the year is now 2022 so 2022 and the month is 01 day is now the 7th so 07 enter now it's my longitude and my latitude Zero nine three zero zero enter by forty five zero zero enter and this scope starts automatically slewing. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly pull the dew shield off because I don't have the clearance here in my basement for it to do the whole slew. So I aborted that. But I got everything here going. Now let's go ahead. Since the temperatures are negative, degrees out. Today's actually a warm day. It's finally gotten up to zero. Going through, make sure everything's working, trying to get used to using this CompuStar. So back. Back. And I'm going to hit speed to adjust for the slew. Go ahead. The reason this doesn't look like a black uh, C14 is it's got a cover over the dewy heater coils so they're not exposed to the weather and stuff. I've yet to uh, get a power source to power up the dew heaters to test those, uh, but they are just a standard 12 volt do heaters. Uh, one of the other features that's on the C14, bring it around here so you can see it is. Yeah, my basement's a mess. Uh, I had a flood a couple years ago, so we had the basement waterproof. Now I'm in the process of trying to get things back and situated, but. Okay, one of the other cool features is it has this sky vector system on it. So could actually go through and set and do this as a push to system and use the sky vector for uh, aligning and searching out my targets in the sky. And the sky vector system also seems to be working properly. Kind of cool. Well, I'm gonna start my teardown of the system so I can get ready to move it outside once my scope buggy shows up. So I'm gonna 
get the numbers off of the forks because uh, there's some important information there. There's no other data plates or anything on my C14 that indicate who, uh, when, it was modified or anything. The only thing I have is the original user guide here from and in the preface of it is the date of copyright 1985 first edition September 85 version 1 so first manual in pristine condition to go along with the system okay so follow along well we uh, go back and play with some 1980s uh, technology here with the CompuStar and see how they used to do it back then thank you Okay, right. so getting ready to remove the tube. There are these Allen screws here and here on both sides on the fork to help uh, that hold the C14 in place. There is also uh, four guide pins on the optical tube to line it up to slide it into place so it's properly aligned when you put it in. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull the screws, move the C14 out so that way I can easily uh, access everything and try to keep it as level as possible because the tube itself is what, 53 pounds, the optical tube by itself. So I wanna make sure I have it well supported while Pulling it off, okay. And then I will sh show you how to remove the arms. Okay, catch you here in a few. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, the tube removed right now. So after I loosened the arms up, I spun it. So I had a slight downward angle to help bring it down and out. Going back together is going to be it's a lot easier as a two-person job. So, go ahead. And I'm going to spin this. Lock it in place. Because now, my next job is right down here. I have these two Allen bolts on each side to remove uh, these arms. Well, here's the one arm off. As you can see... It's also pinned. And then the 2047L. There was something else before that. I'm not really sure. And a 2. Yeah, so 2047 is the number on this base. Well, let's get this other arm off and see what we find over there. Okay, this one here is interesting. It's, it also has 2047L, but if you look closely, it also has 2047R written backwards there so when I was putting them on the first time I tried to put this one on the left side I, I believe and it wouldn't go because right there is 2047R 
and these pegs are spaced just so that you can't really switch them from left to right. It looks like this peg here is down. Get my, yeah, it looks like it's down just a little bit more. From bottom of the peg to center hole, about a half inch. Bottom peg, center hole. On this side, just over three eighths. So, this one, the center hole is three eighths. And this one here is just seven sixteenths so yeah you can't you can't switch them from side to side they don't fit so now down to just the base got to remove the base now and we got three screws down here on the bottom okay and now finally down to the last part removing the wedge from the tripod because boy they didn't make nothing light back then so it's gonna take me what one two three four five six six trips just to get the telescope seven for the Copy star, yeah, to get it up out of the basement. So, looking forward to some uh, warmer days coming up. Okay, this is going to be the end of the video because, yeah, no need to show them folding up a tripod or anything. Okay, but, but yeah, big old beast of a wedge there.